Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another webinar by Indian School of Image Management. I'm so happy to see all of you here on a Wednesday evening. Uh, we're still waiting for more participants to get started, but we will get started now with the interest of time. Today's session is going to be a really special session. We're going to be talking about a really interesting topic. Um, and let's get started then. All right, uh, so today's session is going to be about the career after aviation, especially focusing on image soft skills training. We have a really special guest here today with us, uh, Sonia Dubia Devan, AICICIP. She's one of the first certified image professionals here in India to going to be guiding us about this particular topic. Before I really get started with about the topic and hand over the session to Sonia, I want to just take a minute to introduce Indian School of Image Management to all our wonderful participants today. So Indian School of Image Management is a premier institute that fo focuses primarily on offering uh, soft skills, image management, and fashion styling related courses. Uh, we have these courses which are professional certification courses, executive courses, in-person, hybrid, as well as completely online courses uh, for our students. Uh, we have three uh, or four main presence in, uh, in India and abroad. We have our main head campus and our main head office in Mumbai, as well as our centers in New Delhi and Bangalore. We have an international uh, campus also in Mauritius for some of our international students. So that's a little bit about uh, Indian School of Image Management. Could I have the next slide? Yes, also, I also want to just give this really great news that ISIM, Indian School of Image Management, was awarded Excellent Vocational Training Institute uh, by the MH MHRD uh, as well as the AIE. Uh, these are really prestigious uh, institutions. Uh, we were awarded Excellent Vocational Training Institute in the year 2020. A really proud moment for all of our faculty, our institute, and our alumni and students. Okay, just a little bit more about us. We are an internationally accredited institute. All our programs are approved by Association of Image Consultants International. This is one of the largest bodies and uh, kind of regulatory uh, organization which looks after image management, soft skills, behavior, and fashion related courses. So when you do do a course with ISI, you are getting an international certified course, which is recognized and accredited. All right, so that's a little bit about the Institute. Now I'd like the uh, ability to just introduce our wonderful uh, speaker today, Sonia. Uh, Sonia Dubey Devan is one of the first uh, certified image professionals in India. She's had a decade long, ex more than a decade long experience of over 15 years working in the personal branding, image management, executive coaching uh, industry in India. She is also uh, an Emmy Award winner, uh, one of the only six, uh, or sorry, one of the only eight award winners globally, and the very first Emmy Award winner for, by an Indian. She's an international keynote speaker, and of course, she is the founder of a lot of organizations, including ISIM, but also the World uh, Protocol Forum, as well as some of the other institutions such as Wiki in India. So that's a little bit about Sonia. Uh, Sonia, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing your time. I would like to now hand over the presentation to you. Thank you, Ashwin, uh, for the wonderful welcome and good evening, everyone. I'm so happy to see you all here today. And uh, today we have a lot of things to cover. So yes, we will be going through a few and let's discuss what's on the agenda. So yes, uh, today we are meeting to discuss what are the career opportunities um, in image management and soft skills. And it gives me immense pleasure to share all of those with you. We will be discussing what are the opportunities, what's the process for all of you to become image consultant and soft skills trainer. What's the correct combination? Like how do you go about it? How you make a decision that which area you want to have your expertise? how and where to get started, what's the process, which are the deciding factors, and few insights that we'll be sharing from others' journey so far who have made it big in this particular industry. But yes, um, I request all of you to, um, you all can't unmute, I believe, but yes, you have access to the chat. So what I suggest to all of you, we will like to keep it very interactive. 
There will be few questions that I'll, I'll ask you. I also welcome questions from your end. Feel free to share whatever doubts, whatever questions you have in your mind in the chat. And as and when we'll be taking questions, we will be answering that. Not only that, I also, you know, um, highly recommend you to interact in the activities that are going to be coming up. And um, yes, means ask away any questions that you have. So use the chat option to answer your uh, question, to answer the questions that I'm asking you. And uh, yes, let's get started. And before I get started, I want to ask you all a very first question, because this is basically for people, the, the webinar here, we are focusing on aviation industry and people who are in aviation industry. I want to hear from all of you, why do you want to leave your aviation career? So if you can use the chat box and answer, give me a couple of answers, it will be great because then I can actually answer the things or even take you through your journey and your decision making, keeping those things in mind. So the more you share your personal um, you know, reasons, um, the better it is. So uh, I'm getting a few uh, answers here. Tired of flying, okay. Uh, all right, so maybe the whole, you know, the work-life uh, balance maybe is something that you're looking at. Uh, schedule and health, um, want to settle down, okay. Yes, health does take a lot of toll because of the, you know, hours of flying and it is continuously you're jet lagging. The timings does not really work for you. So that could be one of the reason. I want to have my own business and want to have um, something for myself. Okay, that's great. Um, wonderful, financial independence. Okay, so great means I'm getting a lot of answers. Um, growth does not match potential that can be delivered. Yes, um, absolutely. Because after a point of time, I believe there is a cap, there is a saturation that you reach and um, Yes, after a point of time, you basically, you know, don't know where to where it is going to go next. So there is a definitely a capping and there's definitely even a time period. It's a very short uh, span of career if we have to look at aviation. So I agree with that. Um, OK, I got another answer. And yes, I request all of you if you can rename yourself so I can um, you know, address you by your name. So this one I received from OnePlus. So if you can rename your name, that would be great. Okay, Divya has written, I have nine years of experience in jet airways as cabin crew left in 2015. And since then I'm at home, kindly informed, what can I do with such experience? Lovely, Divya, that's going to be really, um, this is going to be really interesting for you and informative. I can share a lot of journeys. As I said, I'll be sharing insights from our existing alumni base and their journey. So uh, very proudly, a lot of people who are from the same industry, in fact, the same airlines altogether are right now image consultants and they have started their journey already and doing fabulous work in it. So um, today let's explore how you, know, you can actually use your experience to actually build your career into this particular segment. So thank you for all of you who shared your answers with me privately or openly. Um, that's fantastic. And with that, I'm going to just like park it over here because I will come to your answers a little bit later. But I'm going to start with what we have on the agenda today. We are discussing what are the career opportunities in image and soft skills, right? So before we dive into the career opportunities and understand everything in detail, I want to ask, do a very quick exercise and please again, feel free to give your answers in the chat box, okay? So completely different, let's move to something else and just look at what's going to come on the screen. And I want you to look at it and tell me what makes this laptop awesome, okay? What, according to you, makes this laptop that's on your screen, you can see the image, you can see the laptop. What makes this laptop a good laptop, like an awesome laptop? Okay, so I got one answer, brand, okay. So yes, the brand Apple is definitely a winner. Uh, sleek look, of course, means uh, it's so light, it's so easy to carry. I you know, just put it in the back and just uh, carry it around. The brand, of course, the brand Apple. Apple, I think the brand is coming again and again. What else? What makes this um, interesting or what makes this 
laptop, truly something that you want to have or you want to purchase or you want to own? What makes it interesting? You can give multiple answers. Security features, yes, that's definitely there. Of course, what else? That's it. So would you just buy on the basis of it's Apple? <laughs> or would you actually go and see something else also when you have to make the purchase? You unique yes it looks unique the colors are very different the moment you see this um you know the laptop you know that it is it's the brand apple it's the macbook so it's very unique in itself what else you can give multiple answers also whatever comes in your mind think about it that if you have to purchase it for yourself what all um criteria you'll be looking at which will be a decision maker for you any other answers anyone okay all right, so let's run with what we have so far. Those are great. So brand Apple is a clear winner. The security features, the sleek look, uh, the uniqueness of it, uh, all of those are something that makes this laptop awesome. Now tell me, do, would you not actually also see that is this laptop, you know, when you are going to buy it, would you also not see that what all this laptop can do for you? Like what are the features? And, um, you know, how fast it runs, what's the storage, what's the capacity, is it a slow laptop, is it a fast laptop, would you also not see that, yes or no, can I get some answers in the chat. Yes, right, so Arunima said thank you Arunima, so you, Arunima is saying yes, and um, anyone else, would you not see this that yes, it can do some work for you. It can run effectively and fast and everything. I think all of us would like to see that, yes, it's an amazing laptop. It's by the brand Apple, but it can also do my work effectively. It doesn't hang. It doesn't um, you know, slow down. It is fast. It has a lot of capacity, a lot of storage. And plus, it looks so sleek, so beautiful, has security feature. So all of this, thanks, Divya. So Divya also says, yes, that yes, we will be looking at it. So if I talk about the whole, you know, the laptop, the features, if I have to combine all your answers into like categories, I can mm -hmm. actually put it into two categories. It's not just the how the laptop looks that makes it awesome. The uniqueness, the sleek features, the sleekness of the design, the lightweight and everything. It's also what it can do, which is the internal part of it. Imagine if I give you a laptop or even the brand Apple only, they create a laptop which is beautiful, the most beautiful looking laptop in the world, but it is slow. It does not work effectively. It slows down, it hangs, it doesn't have enough space, enough date, you know, um, your RAM in it. Would you really buy this laptop? Would it make it awesome? Yes or no? Can I get a quick answer? Trina says no, absolutely. Anyone else? Would it make it awesome if the laptop is slow? It's beautiful, it's one of the most beautiful laptop, but it does not work effectively. Okay, I'm getting a clear no from everyone. Correct, so Trina, Ashwin, Saurabh, Divya, Harry, everyone, yes. And wow, I got a long answer from Arunima because, so I think this is about the features because there are fewer Apple products compared to PCs. There are fewer viruses on the OS because Apple tightly controls the software and devices, has much less bloatware installed. Apple customer service is well known. Thank you, Arunima. That's really, really in depth and good. Thank you for such a elaborate answer. And those are all the reason that makes this laptop awesome. Like I think Arunima just explained it for all of us. So I was talking about the two things that makes this laptop awesome. And let's take what Arunima has written. That's basically what is on the outside, which is the hardware, the machine, the actual hardware of the laptop and what it can do for you, which is on the inside, the software. And it's the combination of the hardware and the software, the external and the internal, that makes the laptop, that makes the MacBook an awesome laptop that we all want to purchase, we all want to buy. So if I have to now draw an analogy, so the success factor of this laptop is basically the external and the internal are equally amazing, equally awesome. And that's why it is a great laptop to purchase. Now, if you take the same analogy for people, 
even us, we have an external identity, something that we can present, project, reflect to the world. And then we have an internal identity. And those internal and external identity combined together gives you create your success factor. Okay. In very short ways, if we have to say, it can be put as your hard skills, which is your internal identity, which is the education, your work experience, the skills that you have, the talents that, that you have, the credit, uh, credibility certifications that you have gathered over the period of time are all your hard skills, which contribute to your internal identity. And then comes the soft skills, which is your external identity, your communication skills, how you present yourself, what do you know and projecting that knowledge to the world, your time management skills, your interpersonal skills, the way that you have leadership qualities, all of those combined together are the external identity, which is your also your soft skills. So if you only concentrate, let's take the same example of the laptop. If you only concentrate on the hardware and the software is bad, it's not going to be an awesome laptop. Or if you make the most awesome software, but the external hardware does not look great, it's not going to make an awesome laptop also. So what makes similarly, if you just concentrate on your hard skill, you are leaving for almost 50% of your success factor alone. You're not doing anything about it. And if you just concentrate on your soft skills, then people will maybe give you an opportunity, but later on they'll realize that you do not have the technical skills, the work experience, the education, the skill set. So a success factor or what's the success mantra or the magic thing that you create for your success, for your own success is the combination of the equal combination of your hard skills and your soft skills combined together. That's the success factor. That's the beautiful golden spot, that magic thing that you create for yourself, which is the reason behind your success. That's what makes you, each one of you, awesome. Okay? So that's what the importance of hard skills and soft skills is. And today, it's the need of the hour. The world that we are living in, it is a digitalized world. Everyone's profile, everyone's work experience, accomplishment is out there. You open LinkedIn every single day, someone is getting promoted, someone is getting adding a new skill set, someone has completed a program, someone has achieved some certification, some milestones, some targets. It's the need of the hour because every day you are showcasing your skill set to the world. And let's also see why it is some facts that I can prove that it is the need of the hour. Now, as per the study done by the Future of Work 2021, Global Hiring Outlook and Monster, the most wanted soft skills, according to, and this survey was done by uh, amongst 9,100 recruiters from US, Canada, UK, France, Germany, Netherlands, India, Italy, Sweden, Australia, all of those countries combined together, 9,100 recruiters. Uh, the survey was done and they said that the most wanted skills, the top four most wanted skills are dependability, teamwork, collaboration, problem solving and flexibility. It's a need of the hour. Corporates are looking, recruiters are looking for people who have these skill set. Another um, the research that was done, this was reimagining the workforce 2021 by Wiley Education Service. And they said that the three soft skills employers have the most trouble finding are critical thinking, communication, and creativity. People say there are not enough jobs in the market. Trust me, there are enough jobs in the market. It's that the recruiter, the employers are having a hard time finding the people who have not just the hard skills, but the soft skills also. And a more confirmation and affirmation of this can be seen by um, in the NASA, in the recruitment team of NASA, if you can see here, this is by a NASA psychologist, and he says 18,353 people ap applied to become the newest astronaut in NASA, and only 11 made the cut because they had exceptional soft skills. And he says, your resume, your degree experience are only part of the formula required to succeed. Think about all MBA Institute. All the 200, 300 people in one batch 
have the same education that is MBA. So how do only few get shortlisted by a couple of brands because they are looking for something beyond your resume. They are looking for exceptional soft skills. And that is now also seen a big change that came up in 2020. And now I'm talking, concentrating on India. The last few facts that I talked about was on global scale. Coming to our home country, India, the national education policy of 2020 is, um, is going to, has approved already the skill development, which will restructure the education ecosystem to improve the employability of future generation. So basically soft skills is mandatory now as per the national education policy of 2020. Almost 2,80,000 schools and 40,000 colleges and higher education institutes supposed to dispense soft skills and vocational training over the next two years. It's a mandate by the government of India. And 125 million, that means 125 million students are there who need to be trained for soft skills mm. in the next few years. Each year, year on year, it's going to increase upon. There's also actual tweet, which is where our, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that in India, if we start training teachers and nurses on language and soft skills, it will help them in getting better employment in the global markets. Because then... Our education is good enough for them to actually get the job. They can also present their talents, their qualities, their education and their work experience on a global forum. And this is by Niti Ayo Twitter account. So there is a lot of opportunity for all of you who are aspiring to become an image consultant and soft skills trainer. So talking about more on the opportunity, what are the opportunities for you in image management career? If you're just looking at image management, what is it? So just to summarize for you, an image consultant or an image uh, management professional is a person who's a master in the A, B, and C of image, which is appearance, behavior, and communication. These are the people who work with the individuals to basically enhance their own image, teach them how to walk, how, how to talk, how to present the best selves in front of the world. They work with individual as well as group as a coach or a trainer or a consultant to help manage and enhance their own personal image. So the profession and the earning potential of this particular profession of image management can be seen similar to a lawyer or an architect. Okay, there is that much of income potential for a lawyer or for a professional in image consulting as much as a lawyer or an architect. And that's a little bit about the career opportunity. We'll dive deeper into it. We'll be looking at how you basically become image consultant and can have that much of earning potential. In soft skills training, if you're looking at a career as a soft skills trainer, you are basically a professional who are an expert, who's an expert in interpersonal skills, communication skills, all the skills that are required in a corporate role that could be leadership, negotiation, interpersonal skills, conflict resolution, sales, customer service, and so on and so forth. And they work with individual and group as a coach or a trainer, again, to manage their personal image or the overall image of the company or the organization. Again, these professionals can work independently or can work on full-time basis as an employee or by the companies. These professionals are hired as in the learning and development department of most of the multinationals around the world. So you join the learning and development department as a soft skills trainer, in-house soft skills trainer. There's a new shift that is coming in. All the IB schools are now having a resident image consultant and a soft skills trainer. All the institute which are teaching the international curriculum. So the opportunities are vast and the income potential this is actually the figures from Glassdoor and publicly available information that is there on various websites. It is seen that average salary of learning and development manager in India is 14 lakhs. And this is from the data which has been pulled from various companies such as Accenture, Cognizant, Deloitte or Amazon. An average salary of a soft skills trainer in India is 13 lakhs and above. And this is a information that has been drawn from the soft skills trainers working in the brands like Baiju's, Deloitte, ENY, and TCS. An average number of job openings for soft skills are 11,000 as of April 2021. The salary most ranges between 6 lakhs as 
on a on an average on a lower or a fresher side on an average 6 lakhs all the way to 25 mm-hmm. lakhs and above and then yes there is more potential you can also work as a freelancer you can have your own setup and then the sky is the limit so i think one of you talked about the growth i think that was divya there is no limit to the growth sky is the limit actually for you because as an employer you can earn and you can also earn as a independent soft skills trainer or an image consultant this is also a few more numbers that average number of corporates and smes companies looking for image consultants and soft skills trainer in india 23000 this is as of today if i have to talk about average number of education students uh, institutes that are looking for image and soft skills trainer are 2.1 lakh imagine the amount of work that is there average earning of a one day image and soft skills training in india currently is 13000 on an average of course if you are the more number of experience you have the higher you can charge and again sky is the limit there average annual earning of an image and soft skills training business in india people who are working as a freelancer minimum earn 10 lakhs and above of course this is the average base pay so these are the numbers just to give you an idea just and these are all pulled from publicly available websites from our internal sources of our current alumni base that is all around the country and the world we have pulled all this information giving you actual figures and data that is available so that's the opportunity available to you but yes to avail and to start um capitalizing these numbers and actually start earning there's a process to go there there's a process to become a soft skills trainer and an image consultant so let's talk about the process how do you become a successful soft skills trainer and an image consultant so the soft for to become that the number one thing can someone tell me what's the number one thing that you need to have or you need to do if you're starting your career in this or any field what do you need to have the most the first thing that you need the most so you can write your answer in the chat okay let's see knowledge yes absolutely knowledge is the number one thing because without that of course what will you go out and do how would you impart the knowledge what else let's hear some more answers awareness awareness wonderful divya thank you aruna aruna says communication skills yes you need to actually um basically have great communication skills to present your knowledge your idea your skill set to the world wonderful what else i'll come to you divya very shortly um certificate yes saurabh that's the most important and brings credibility to your entire career to your profession so certificate certification is really important what else what else do we get okay any other answers all right so let's see uh, let's start get into the process so what divya said awareness the number one thing all of you gave the right answer but if i have to actually to get you started to start or take an action to do something the number one thing that we need is the direction you need to identify that this is my passion this is my area of interest and that will set you that will give you the awareness that yes this is the direction that i want to go into and then comes your education which is your step number 2 so all of you who said education after you know exactly that this is the direction i want to go you go into the education learning and acquiring that knowledge which gives you the right skill set the right knowledge the right tools all together okay i'm getting a message that uh, i'm not audible is it for everyone um, rajeshwari said that i am not audible can others hear me please give me a thumbs up or just say yes okay everyone can hear me i, I think rajeshwari it's at your end you need to i believe add yeah join with audio please thank you thank you everyone thank you great so i'm audible <laughs> otherwise thinking i was talking to myself great <laughs> um so moving on to the next stage is the experience once you get your education you get your certification you know my purpose is to move in this direction you get your experience you apply your knowledge in the real world with the people make a difference in their own life 
then slowly and gradually you create a brand for yourself you establish yourself as a soft skills trainer as an image consultant establish your own personal brand finally you basically get industry recognition become a leader the subject matter expert in your field and that's how you start inspiring others and you become a successful soft skills trainer and an image consultant so this is the process and let's dive into where to get started so yes all of you were correct that knowledge is the most important you have to build after you have decided that this is my awareness this is where i want to go you need to start building on the foundation which is with the right knowledge so to gather the right knowledge let's talk about the knowledge part you have to first of all find out what's your combination how do you decide to become a, do you want to become a soft skills trainer or you want to become an image consultant so yes you can concentrate only on the corporate training and coaching with large organization or with the fortune 500 companies and train and be a trainer facilitator and do trainings after training on a daily basis that will allow you to work with large organization or you can look at the image management side of it where you can work as a coach or as a trainer both but the major difference that comes in both of these is image management will give you access to a b c of image which is appearance behavior and communication you learn that and in soft skills you also add a lot of corporate skills which is say for example leadership or uh, customer service sales negotiation networking interpersonal skills conflict resolution and so on and so forth so basically you can work on in any of these areas of expertise individually or you can actually be a master of both combine these unique combination together and can create a success formula for yourself where you can be a holistic coach or a trainer for organizations for individuals for companies for institutions where you are able you are enabled you are empowered you are skilled to give the knowledge on the abc of image and all the other areas of soft skills in corporate trainings and institutional trainings and this is where you can combine the knowledge of both the courses both the areas of expertise together so it totally depends upon you that where do you want to get started what is your awareness what's your direction i you can either take soft skills you can or take image management or you can combine all of this together and offer holistic services so let's talk a little bit about what's the difference between the two because i'm saying that you can take either or or you can take both of them together what's the difference between the two talking about the first one in isim we provide the professional certification program in image management and also in advanced soft skills training these are two flagship programs they are internationally accredited that means once you complete the program you are certified to work in any part of the country or all around the world your accreditation your certification is valid in any part of the uh, world altogether lot of our students have are migrating to different parts of the world say australia or canada they have started and have established their services after moving to another country also so it's maintaining the global standards of recognition and knowledge that's the most important part let's talk about these two services individually the first one is the image management dual certificate program this is a comprehensive and the most advanced curriculum in the world which focuses on three areas that is appearance behavior communication in appearance you learn about fashion styling you learn about how to present yourself package yourself wear power dressing accessories grooming a lot is focused on that and introductory level of soft skills which is your etiquette communication skills presentation skills um also a dining etiquette a lot of those areas are covered in it there are total 24 subjects 300 plus lessons and the duration of the program is of 5 months so that's your image management program the other one is the advanced soft skills and the reason that it is advanced soft skills because image management program does cover the introductory level of soft skills also so the advanced soft skills curriculum is basically higher than what you would learn in the image management it's it's more elaborate not higher but more elaborate 
more topics covered. It's a comprehensive curriculum which starts with the intermediate and goes all the way to advanced level of interpersonal, internal management, behavioral, and corporate soft skills. There are total 36 subjects, 400 plus lessons in soft skills, and the duration of this program is over eight months. And how do you basically learn this? How, what is the phases that you would go through? You start with the learning experience through classroom training, online training, self-studies, a lot of implementation of every single thing that you learn upon yourself. Then you take your knowledge and through guided practicals, as well as assignments, you gain industry experience. Post that, you also achieve your career mentorship from ISIM. ISIM provides all the students who are part of our programs a career mentorship mm -hmm. on paper, we say 12 months, but once you're part of the organization, once you're part of the institution, you always have access to the mentors to get mentorship on their career. And once you complete these three phases, you come out as a certified professional in an image or a soft skills industry. Right. So these are your phases. Once you pass out, you're a certified professional. Why we are using this word of certified professional? Professional is a person who can deliver, who's a pro in delivering the services. That means you become a professional uh, image consultant or a soft skills trainer, and you are certified to work and start your career in these fields. So that's why you become a certified professional after completion of the program. So these are your phases and what you can do, how to pick a combination. I'm going to take you through the different learning phases that what happens when you enroll, how you will go and where to start, how will you get started, what will be the process that you will be face, um, going through. So let's look a deep dive into the image management dual certification. As I said, there are total eight modules in this particular program. There are over 24 different subjects and then 300 plus lessons. The eight modules that you cover are color analysis, image management, which dives into appearance, personality style, body analysis, wardrobing, personal shopping. Image for Men is a comprehensive, very power packed session just on the grooming and the dressing for men. Holistic system on personal change talks about what uh, nutrition, wellness, health, beauty, grooming, etiquette and protocol, where we cover the business etiquette, social etiquette and dining etiquette and international protocol, communication management, where we cover vocal, verbal skills and nonverbal skills. And finally, power presentation, which is also known as typically train the trainer module to prepare you to make you a successful image consultant. The last and the final module is the most important one that is part of the curriculum, which is business smart. This is where we teach you how to take all your knowledge and basically create profits out of that knowledge. That's the business smart module. So if you have the knowledge, how to establish a successful practice as an image consultant and soft skills. So we teach you how to create your business plan, what will be your marketing strategy, your pricing strategies, what services and products you will be using or delivering to your end customers. So this is on image management. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put it in the chat right now so that I can, towards the end, I can read your question and answer because it will be fresh if it is coming in your mind right now. You can put it in the chat. And later on, I will go back to it and refer. Let's let also look at the advanced soft skill certification. There are total 11 modules in this, 400 plus less than 36 different subjects. Which modules we are talking about over here? Communication, where we talk about all forms of communication, written, verbal, vocal, uh, proposal writing, the secrets of communication. Then module two is all about leadership skills. Then in behavior, we deep dive into your own personal behavior, conflict resolution, interpersonal skills, uh, etiquette, body language comes into this. Customer service, we deep dive into networking, both internally and externally, managing different types of team members, sales, internal management, as I said, 36 different subjects. And again, module 11 is all about your business smart, how to establish a successful soft skills training business. Module 10 talks about your own personal branding, how you can establish yourself as an established soft skills trainer. So that's your personal branding module. 
So these are the curriculum and the topics that you'll be covering. Let's talk about how this course is going to be delivered. So the courses are, all the courses are delivered through online live classes. That means the faculty right now, what you are doing, I'm talking to all of you, I'm interacting with all of you. I am live right here. That's how the classes are delivered on our internal platform. And over there, you can interact with the faculty. You can talk to them. They also, your cameras are always on. They can see your gesture. They can see your body language. They actually assess, are you getting the points, covering the points or not? But it is from the comfort of your own home and delivered through online live classes. So that was a learning phase. The phase number two we talked about was experience phase. So how do we help you? How ISIM helps you to get the experience? One opportunity that is given to all the students, all the alumni who get certified, ISIM provides you a real world experience by giving you group online training opportunity or a seminar. How does it work? Basically, you decide on a topic as a trainer that you would like to deliver to the public, to your own target audience. And what ISIM we do, we promote, we market your webinar, we market your online training or seminar to the world. So the presentation goes as ISIM presents XYZ, say five uh, top skill, soft skills by, um, let's say, Arunima or by Divya. So you and your workshop is promoted by ISIM. When you work on your workshops, when you work on your content, a faculty is assigned to you to improve upon your content, improve upon your outline. So you get handholding and mentorship on that. That is your content correct? Is your outline correct? Is the flow of your presentation correct? You also have to give a mock to the faculty before you actually go live and deliver in front of the world. All these sessions, once you conduct a webinar for the public, for the audience, for your audience, this is also put up on our YouTube channel so that you can give a reference to a future client who would like to see you, your work and how you deliver as a trainer. So this becomes your case study. This becomes your marketing material for future. And this also gives you a very real world experience. We ensure that there are minimum 30 participants in your trainings. So that was the experience phase. And of course, you keep getting a lot of support and mentorship. I, the third phase that I talked about was the support and mentorship. So business smart classes, which is also the business setup classes, it's a part of our entrepreneurship development program which is in-house, which is in-built part of your curriculum. We, it is not a separate program that you have to enroll for or pay extra fees for. This is also part of your existing curriculum. Each and every student upon completion of their certificate gets a 12 hours of training, online training, to define their business plan. You write your own business plan, you figure out your goals and mission, you develop your business idea, business model, set up your company, identify your logo and your branding, creative advertising, marketing strategy, you develop your sales plan and templates are given to you to actually work out every single thing for your own business. Once you write a business plan for yourself, we give you on the basis of that, we meet you one-on-one -on -one and we personally give you one-on-one -on -one consultation and coaching on your personal business plan. And we also do a quarterly review that how you are progressing. This is the reason that our alumni are successful today in what they are doing, because we just don't handhold them on, on the education part. Once they're educated, once they're certified, we give them this entrepreneurship development program. That's the game changer. That's where we basically handhold them to establish their uh, own business practices in a successful manner. So this is part of your curriculum already. And yes, a lifetime support to all alumni of ISIM who get career mentorship where you can access the mentors in ISIM within the Institute on anything that you're facing. You're having a problem with the current client. You're having a problem with the future client that you're trying to pitch. You don't know how the business ideas would work, what next opportunity you should be capitalizing on, on your own skill set or any other hurdles that you're facing, this is where you can meet the faculty on time to time basis to enhance your career. So you basically have someone you can always reach out to, someone you can talk to, someone you can, can give you a year to lend, basically to understand your problems in business. 
And that's where the difference actually comes in, where we establish, help you establish your career, handhold you, guide you, mentor you, so that you become independent, you achieve financial independence. Okay. So yes, just let's quickly revise on to the process. We talked about the, the direction and I'm sure all of you who have come over here today, you all have an awareness, you have your direction already sorted that you want to or you wish to start your career in this domain or you want to do something similar. You are in that process where you want to have your own financial independence, where you want to grow at your optimum and the most highest level of your potential. So you have a direction in your mind. The next step that you need to start, we talked about the education. Then we talked about gaining the real world experience, which ISIM provides to you, of course, with the real world fellowship. Then you establish your personal brand, get industry recognition, and slowly and gradually, you start inspiring other people. So let me share actually some great journey of people who have now, who have gone through this process, the process that I just talked about. They started with a direction, with an awareness, just like all of you. They've got the education, the world's best curriculum at ISIM, which actually educated them, inspired them, empowered them, enabled them with the right skill set to start their education. They then got the experience. And finally, they started creating their personal brand. They are getting industry recognition. And that's how now they are inspiring others. So let me share a few of my uh, alumni. This is Shraddha, Shraddha Mahajan. She was a batch of 2019, early tw mid-2019, exactly, I think, three years ago, her batch started. She is currently an internationally certified image consultant and a wedding stylist. She offers services in wedding styling, image makeover, faculty, and she's also a faculty at ISIM. She's so fabulous in her work that, um, by the way, all the students who complete our program, you all, once you're certified, you are all eligible to become faculty. When I say eligible, of course, there's a faculty development program that you go through, but you are eligible to become a faculty at ISIM. So she's a faculty at ISIM also. We are very proud to have her. And to give you a background, because a few of you, and I said that in the end, I will share a few uh, people your journey. So yes, the Jet Airways, I think uh, Arunima or uh, somebody mentioned about um, Divya. Divya, you were in Jet Airways, I believe, right? So uh, Shraddha is also ex-Jet uh, Airways only. And uh, she also had a great years of experience in hospitality first. She worked in great big chains like Renaissance. And then finally, she joined Jet Airways. And uh, yeah, she after that, when she quit Jet Airways, I believe she did it in 2018. And she moved to this career and she is having a fabulous, fabulous. She's working with clients all around the world. She also had quit her job in 2018 and she was also wondering what to do. And the beauty with the aviation industry is that um, you have an edge over other people. If I have to be very... Uh, fair or very honest to all of you, the kind of training that you get in aviation, a lot of things comes naturally to you. The people skill, how to talk to people, how to understand their queries, their concern, how to present yourself, the grooming standards that you all go through. It's now when you come into this course, you are already at the very high level of self-awareness. The knowledge that we give to you by answering the whys and hows in a very scientific manner, plus the handholding that we give you, immediately launches you into the market as a more as a more evolved uh, image consultant or a soft skills trainer once you complete. So yes, uh, Shraddha's journey is also the same. She quit in 2018. She was sitting at home. She was thinking and co contemplating what to do next. And she selected this career and she's having great time working with people all around the world. She's fab faculty also at ISIM. We are very proud to have her. So that's Shraddha for all of you. Shanali. Shanali is also from the uh, aviation background. She's internationally certified image consultant. And recently she got a job with Qatar Airways. Um, and uh, one of the fun fact that I would like to share about Shanali, because she shared it with me and I was so happy to hear, she actually applied for this job as an image and soft skills trainer in Qatar Airways uh, two times. And she got rejected in the previous time when she had not become our student. After her last uh, rejection, 
after that she enrolled in our program she got certified and the next time when this opening uh, came up in qatar airways she applied for it and she was immediately picked and shortlisted and selected by qatar airways so she called me up and she said that this is exactly i have applied in this role many times before and it did not happen but this time my certification actually opened this opportunity for me she was in kolkata last month in the month of may she has moved to doha and uh, she's working there as a image and a soft skills trainer so that's a very we are very proud of that also and she's also one of our proud alumni and again from the aviation background so that's something that i would like all of you to know to share so that you have a direction that you know how with your current experience you can capitalize it and actually move into the right direction so one is an example who was of an self employment shraddha she's working for herself and shanali who's working as an employer in airways already so yeah a few more this is shreja shreja is again batch of 2018 she's a celebrity stylist image consultant she has worked with any and every uh, celebrity in the country and uh, she has also done a lot of movies and styling for you know different ad films and uh, uh, web series and movies all together and she also does a lot of uniform designing she's also a fashion designer and uh, now she has been uh, shortlisted for a masters program in paris um on 100% scholarship just because of her amazing experience and credit credibility that she has gained with the certificate that she has um and she has been shortlisted by the very renowned college in paris uh on 100% scholarship because of her elaborate career so she is going there in the month of september to start and pursue her further higher education Varsha is also um, <laughs> yes, Arunima. We are very proud of all of these uh, uh, alumni that we have, and they are doing fab fab work because we handhold, guide them, give them the right direction, nudge them in the right, point them in the right direction. And um, I have written recommendations for all of them, and you know when they kind of go out in the market, it opens up doors for them. Varsha and Amit Chaturvedi actually, not just Varsha, Amit right here in the picture. is uh, their brother and sister one uh, varsha is based out of mumbai uh, amit is in delhi together they run their own consulting company vishi kimich consultancy and uh, offer services to not only clients in mumbai and new delhi but also all around the world they specialize in personal image consulting color analysis and other areas nidhi bharda sharma she is uh, another success story which i'm very really proud of not only um she had more than a decade of experience in retail um aditya bella group and uh, other uh, different companies that she was working with and she decided and she was in mumbai she decided to quit her job go back to her hometown after completing the program she came to me and she said sonia i believe that the re real requirement of this is in small towns where the students where the kids of these engineering colleges and schools and institutions they're so talented but they don't have the right skill set to present their talent i want to go and make a difference she permanently moved to lucknow and right now she's a known name in lucknow people actually in most of the schools and colleges over there uh, people know her and the students know her as nidhi ma'am she does uh, career can coaching for um you know the upcoming workforce the college students she prepares them for interviews in jds she also run her own salon where she also works with one on one consultants consultancy uh, provides one on one consultancy to her clients so these are few of her success stories which we are very proud of and he Yes, the list goes on and on. Our alumni is in working in Amazon, in Reliance, in learning development departments, in Femina, Qatar Airways, Google, ICIC Bank, TCS. These are all the different alumni that are working in either working in um, different organizations around the world or and in the country. So, just for you all to know a little bit that how you can basically. uh enhance your career add on to this professional certification which is valid which has the validity um or even the credibility that is seen by people all around the world it's accepted by such big, big brand names and uh you more opportunities open up for you so yes that's more or less about the program 
the as i said when you combine the two courses together the avenues that you can apply it in it could be in self employment it could be as an employer it could be just in the appearance part of it styling and you know grooming accessorizing or you can also go get into corporate training in corporate training you can work with uh, freshers people who have just moved from campus to corporate you can work with mid management senior management and so on and so forth so it's a it opens up so many doors for you it opens up a lot of opportunities for you and um, you can we have till now just to give you another number till date out of the inspiring journey of our uh, students we have total mapped out i believe ashwin 21 22 different um opportunities or areas that they can actually create their niches is that correct yes sonia that's correct yeah so 21 22 different avenues that you could be an expert and a niche expert in that particular area so this was all about the program um to give you a little bit on the how do you get started of course i will take you through the admission process if you are uh, looking at both the programs you can fill up an online admission form it can be shared in the chat also if you would like to uh, we can post the ad admission form in the chat once you post uh, fill up the form it comes to us for your review for an approval for your profile we sometimes also go through your profile and see that yes would you be having the right experience also the motivation you have the right direction that you want to make your career establish yourself in this field then the student decide the batch one of the batches that we offer which works for you, for you the best and then you finally block your seat by making a payment which is the admission confirmation and admission fee the tuition fee that is for both the programs for image management program dual certification the fee is 170 and it with gst it comes to 260000 and the tuition fee for advanced soft skills program is 150000 plus gst that is 177 um in total the tuition for both programs combined if you take both the programs combined together the tuition fee that could be offered to you as a one time as an offer to all the people who are there with us today is 3 lakh inclusive of gst so you are almost getting a benefit if you enroll for both the programs together of 77 i believe 77 approximately 77000 so that's a benefit that you would get if you would enroll for both the programs together and um, talking about the program the fee includes not only just your education but all your study material so this includes all your study material all your access to lifetime access to our online pro portals pre recorded videos tools and templates that will be given to you as a part of the program which you can actually modify download them these are forms webinars ppts that you can actually download and use for your own practice in the future so not only you are just getting the education but you also get all of these different accesses including the entrepreneurship development program which is also inclusive in this fee structure so that's the um, offer to all of you and uh, yes we also provide financial assistance to all our students there is also installment facility that you can pay for so yes um you can totally look at that as well so this is your um process to get into the admission and get started with so yes i would like to take any questions at this point of time i think arunima has already given me a question uh, and also i see that there is the form has been already uh shared with you all what i suggest is that if you can copy this link right now and open in another chat because the moment this webinar will close you will lose this link so just copy this link in at your end and put it in another um uh, you know window altogether for yourself and i'll take the questions now uh, so arunima has asked online li live class is flexible timing or permanent time and day so good question arunima we have multiple batches which are running on weekdays and on week Uh, weekends which is only on saturday uh, you can pick and choose which batch suits you the best and you can be uh, given a seat into that particular batch only mm -hmm. so as per your convenience but yes those batches have fixed timings and days so you we can our um, program advisors can share with you what are the batch batches days and timings and as per your convenience you can pick that so i hope that answer your question um another question that i have got from saurabh uh, he's asking is there any age limit no there is no age limit for learning 
Um, in fact, um, I, if I have to talk about my students' profile, my alumni base, my students have been 17-year-old and 70-year-old also. So it doesn't matter. Age is just a number. That's what we believe. You can get started at any point of time. If you start early, then you have so many years to actually work and gain experience over the better, the sooner, the better. And even if you're starting late, you already have another career or you have taken sabbatical and then you are starting out or you're switching career. Even that is great because you will be bringing so much of work experience, life experience in your uh, practice that will give you an edge over everyone else. So no age limit at all. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, Saurabh, Arunima, um, okay. I'm flying so fixed patch and timing is difficult. How to overcome this challenge? So um, Arunima, in that case, um, most of our students, as I said, a lot of them are in aviation currently. Three of our students are also flying regularly and have completed their program successfully. One of the beauty about the program is that, yes, we understand that you may miss one or two classes here and there, and we have other batches also running at the same point of time. So what you do is a facility that is given to all our students. If you miss a particular class, you fill up a missed class form and the, um, you know, our team actually gets back to you with the same class whenever it's happening in future. You shared that time and date so you can uh, catch up for that class in any other batch that works the best for you. So nobody misses any classes. If you miss a few classes here and there, you always have the opportunity to catch up on it. Also, added on thing, you also get access to our online training room portal, which has all pre-recorded videos of every session. So even if you have missed, you're not able to attend a future class, you can always log into your online training room and watch that class as a pre-recorded session. As I said, you never miss anything, right? So um, you can totally catch up in a different batch. So that's, uh, I hope that answer your question, Arun Arunima. And uh, do you provide job opportunities? Yes, uh, we do provide job opportunity. And one of the best opportunity, which can add a lot to your profile and a lot of credibility to your profile. As I said, every certified student of our, every alumni, is eligible to become an, uh, a faculty at Indian School of Image Management. That means once you complete your faculty development program, you can come on board as a faculty. And how does it help you? It gives you immense amount of credibility that you are a faculty who's teaching the aspiring soft skills trainers and image consultant already. That shows that the amount of knowledge that you would have is far better than the other people who have just completed the program. And we also promote you and also put up your profile as faculty in front on our platforms, on our website, all our social media. So it gives you that little kickstart amongst other people also. And that's one of the best opportunity. Other than that, we also have like our internal job portal where on daily basis, there are jobs, there are learning and training and development opportunities that are posted on the job portal. So a lot of opportunities in terms of earning money are provided to you. And I have just one last question. I will take that. And after that, we can close. But feel free to reach out to me for uh, if you have other questions. Uh, great to hear that, that answer your question. Divya, um, I'm going to uh, Anna, share your question so that it can help other people also. So you're saying that you have a gap of eight years. So if that, is it fine to apply in actual world after this course? Absolutely, Divya. Let me just share something with you. A lot of our students have, have been someone who have never worked in their life. They have been homemakers. They have actually their biggest job was to raise their children. And the moment their children goes to college, that's when they have come to us. So they have never worked only. There was no gap means there was no nothing about working and then taking a back and coming into this program. And they today, Varsha, the one of the person that I showed you, she is one of those people and she is now having a successful career. The amount and why is it important when you have so many years of life experience? A life experience adds a lot to your career and your previous work experience. So what you are going to be bringing to the table is your previous work experience of flying as in aviation industry, which is the highest standards, if I have to say, in terms of grooming, in terms of presenting yourself, people skill plus eight years of your life experience also, so many years of your life experience combined together with this knowledge, it's going to actually work out for you and give open a lot of opportunities for you. 
So I hope that answer that question. A lot of my alumni are in the same boat. So there is nothing, no age limit, nothing about that. So you can be absolutely sure about it. I hope that answer your question. Thanks, my pleasure. So uh, more questions, feel free to reach out to our program advisors. The, um, we can share a few links or maybe a number for all of you. If you would like to call upon those numbers and talk to a program advisor, feel free to do so. And I would like to end today's session with just one final thought to you, which is the importance of investing in your own self. The more you invest in your knowledge, in your skill set, in your own profile, the more you build it up, the more it is possible for you to basically, um, you know, open up opportunities for yourself. And this particular program, image management and soft skills, it's not just a basic education. This is a life skills program. You're basically learning life skills, which will not only help you in your career to work as an image consultant, which is going to help you in your personal life as well. It enhances you, it transforms you in a different way. Um, it takes you to the different level and make you achieve your highest potential. So remember this, you are your most valuable asset and start investing in yourself today. So with that, I would like to thank you all. On the screen, you would see that there are numbers that are given to you. So you can note down, make a note of these numbers. Um, yes, this is the number, Divya, you can make a note of it. And also you can write to us at info at the rate Indian school of image .com. Or you can go on our website, which is www.indianschoolofimage.com and you can fill up the admission form and then our, our program advisors can reach out to you directly from there. So yes, that's those are different ways. Reach out to us from any of the mediums and you'll hear back from my team.